Okay, uh, so this next example looks pretty complicated, but we're just going to take it one step at a time. 2z plus 7 minus 5 plus 4 equals negative 27. So the last operation performed was to add 4. Therefore, we're going to start by subtracting 4 from both sides to eliminate that 4 and to isolate the variable. So subtracting from both sides gives me 2z plus 7 divided by negative 5 equals negative 31. The next step is to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 5. And remember, you have to multiply by a negative 5, not a positive 5. And then the right side would be negative 31 times negative 5. Okay, continuing on here, the negative 5's cancel out. That leaves me with 2z plus 7 equals 155. Now it's much more straightforward. 2z plus 7, to eliminate the 7, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. 2z equals 148. Using the multiplication principle or the division principle, which are actually pretty much the same thing, um, you're going to divide both sides by 2. Because we had 2z, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And that's 148 divided by 2. The 2's cancel out on the left side. And the final answer is z equals 74. So this was a quite a long problem and we started out by eliminating the plus 4 by subtracting 4 from both sides. Then we were left with 2z plus 7 divided by negative 5 equals negative 31. The next thing to eliminate was that negative 5 by multiplying negative 5 from both sides, finally giving us 2z plus 7. I subtracted both sides of the equation by, neg by 7, so 2z plus 7 minus 7, subtracting 7 from both sides. And then you're finally down to the last step, which is 2z equals 148, divide both sides by 2, and finally you've solved the equation, z equals 74. That concludes this lesson. Thanks for visiting educator.com.